Well, moving to the African continent, the Nigerian government wants member states of the African Union to devote funds and manpower to effectively combat corruption. The secretary to the government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, conveyed this to the commemoration of the 2019 African Union Anti-Corruption Day in Abuja. Correspondent Habib Elawal has that story. In 2017, the African Union Year marked 11 July as African Anti-Corruption Day. The day is intended to enable all the 55 African Union countries raise more awareness on corruption and propagate ways to fighting it. The high-level panel on illicit financial flows initially put the amount of money leaving Africa illegally at a sum of $50 billion annually. Sadly, the flow is now estimated at $90 billion and is still growing. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we have to come to terms with the fact that organized criminal groups have developed intricate channels of illicit financial flows that deprive African economies of crucial resources for development. Such resources end up in safe havens across the globe. We often have challenges in recovering of assets stashed away in some of these countries. They recognize the world over that along with prosecution and conviction, the single most effective disincentive to corruption is taken away from the corrupt, all stolen and illegally acquired assets when they do not have the unwholesome benefit of their illicit gains, the corrupt will stop to ask themselves whether investing time, energy, and prodigal talent in the criminal enterprise was really worth it. Some are of the view that corruption undermines African security, generates huge economic damage, and violates human rights. We can have a common purpose, a common drive, a common vision in which Niger Africa as a whole can have a, a mindset of fighting this corruption in a way that we can share ideas. What is happening in another country might be different from but when we sit down together. The event which has the theme towards a common African position on asset recovery wants member states to devote the required financial and human resources to fight against the dreaded scourge of corruption. Habida Lawal, TVC News, Abuja.